All right, now we have some images here in the images folder. Um, and remember, when I chose File Open originally, I, w I navigated straight to my um, Documents folder, my Web Production class, and my Week 10 folder. And that's why everything that changes in this Week 10 folder, like the images that I just added, Remember, I did that mock-up assets, and I didn't save those, but I did save the images. I moved them into the images folder, so they're all here. And that's why I can see them here now. And I've just added all of these images through Photoshop's fantastic um, generate process. And now, I would like to place this at the top of the page and this. I, I a little bit regret naming this header.jpg because I do also have an HTML tag here that is called header, and those two are not related. So I probably should have named that, um, this one, I should have probably just named it Kevin in Footloose or something like that, but I didn't, so we'll live with that. So back here on my HTML, this is where I have the header tag, which is where I'm going to put that logo. And uh, I have a couple of options. Let me just show you the final result, and let's talk about these options. So this logo that, as you know, we generated in Photoshop, this looks like, the words Kevin Bacon, that looks like text, but it's really not. It's an image. So when a search engine crawler goes crawling all over this, it's not going to read that as Kevin Bacon. It's going to read it as an image. But you and I both know that here in the index, if I insert the image here, I can give it an alt tag so that the crawlers will find it. So let's place that here so that I can give it an alt tag. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go to my assets, my images, and the logo. And I'll scooch out here out of the quick marks and give it an alt. And I'll call it Kevin Bacon Logo. And then I should be able to see my image save and refresh. There it is. So, of course, I need to do a few other things with this. I need to center it, and I can do that in the CSS. This is not text, but it's image and layout, so I'll put it down here. And even though it's not text, the way to center something is to use the text align. And I know that's a little confusing, and I want to apologize for that, but really, I didn't write this code. There it is. Save, and let's refresh this and see what that looks like. Great. Great. Now let's uh, go back to the code and let's look at placing this image. So this one I am more inclined to place in the CSS rather than in the HTML. And the reason is that, based on this, I know that as I resize the page, this image needs to resize with it. I will want to contain the height but I want to I want the image to go wide. So now I want to place this image here, which I did title header image. And like I said, I'm I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for choosing that name because I don't want you to confuse it with this portion of the HTML document. But in any case, I want to let's go over to the this. I want to place it right above this text here and below that line. So let's do an inspection and just take a quick peek at what that area is. Uh, it is, there it is. It's a div ID that's called subhead. So that's where I want to put it. And um, remember, I want the image. I want that image to stretch all the way across the page, no matter what size the page is. Let's look at this. I want it to stretch. 
And that is something that can really only happen in CSS. It's a property, it's a background property called cover. So I'm going to go up here to my CSS and create a, um, it, it's a div, remember, is a div ID called subhead. It's right underneath the pink navigation. Uh, jumping back to CSS, so I'm going to type subhead, if I remember correctly, it's got a capital H. This is called sort of like camel case. And I'll use the background shortcut because I have a few things to do here. Um, the URL will be where I'll get the image. i got to get out of the folder, into the images folder, and I'm looking for that image, header.jpg. And then I will skip a space, get out of those parens, skip a space and give it no repeat because I'm sure I don't want it to repeat, and skip another space and put center because, oops, pretty sure it needs to be centered. And now I'll do that all important uh, background size and the word cover so that it will stretch. So let's take a peek at that. Let me just, I know I have it open here. There it is. Oh, there it's not. What's happening here? See, I know it's here, a uh, subhead. There it is. But what, what is happening is, look at this, it's zero pixels tall. And we do need to give it a height. So we need to figure out exactly how tall to make this. All right, let's jump back and see if we can give this subhead. Let's jump back and see if we can give this subhead some height. And I'm not quite sure how tall it should be, but it's going to be at least 200, maybe 300. So we'll start there. Uh, height. Save, and now let's refresh and see what we have. There we go. So we've got uh, this image is in place, and this image is in place. And let's, in our next video, let's attack the next trick.